it is time. It is time to brew your best beer. Brought to you by Beer Grains Supply Company, Brew Tubers Online Brewers Club, Brew UK, Panhead Brewery, Tanner Ritchie, Finney's Homebrew Emporium, Brig Selve, Hackney Brewery, Hashigo Saki, Mangrove Jacks, Sprig and Fern Tavern, Yakima Valley Hops. Okay, another entry. Label's a little bit harder to read. This is from the Thompson Brewery. It is what it is. A oak aged ale from GR144GB. There is some writing on the side. Um, unfortunately with the dampness of the bottle and the colour of the card <laughs> against it, I can't read it. Yeah, I might need some better ones of these soon. <clears throat> anyway, it's oak aged from the SJ website. It consists of Lager Malt, Black Malt, Crystal 70 and Simcoe Hop. It is 4% ABV and 34 IBUs. Now if we take that off. If you're wondering what the lackey bands are, if you've seen them, it's because I put a temperature probe around the bottle so that they're all given off at the same temp. Get a whiff of the Simcoe. Not a lot else. Wasn't much of a hiss. Not much of a show on carbonation. Fairly aggressive pour. Not too much there. Riz up with a little bit. Anus a not in natural light to get the colour there. It's a slightly reddish dark brown, who knows, I'm colour blind so <laughs> I'll give you a shot on the camera but that never gives you quite a true colour on a camera for some reason. So aroma Simcoe Not a lot else, not overpowering, not really punchy on the aroma. Although I don't know how old, how old, how old the beer is, how long it's been aged, or whether it's just been left on smoke chips or something just to give it a little, that sort of barrel aged effect to see what comes up. There's a little bit of a head still. Lacing on the glass, not a lot. There's no alcohol to speak of, obviously, it's only 4%, so should be easy drinking. Normally, you'd expect something that's aged to be a little bit heavier on the um, ABV. But we'll see what's inside the glass. Very thin. Simcoe's not really banging through. Although it's only 40, 34 IBUs. I'm getting a little um, woody taste. A little bit sort of smoky oaky flavour. <clears throat> it does come across very light bodied, a bit thin. Hops aren't really sort of screaming there. There's some fruity taste to it. Not a lot of bitterness. Quite light and refreshing. The hops are sort of com coming through with some fruits. But they're not um, really pronounced. Although having said that, you get the fruit from the hop. There's no real great bitterness. It's very light and clean tasting. 
Then on the back note where you'd normally get some bitterness, you get that slight oaky woody tang, slightly smoked sort of flavour to it, whether it was the toasted oak chips that you can get for wine, I don't know. But there is a slight, very slight smokiness to it. But it does, um, I think, need a little bit more hot punch. Probably it would suit a higher ABV beer. So it will more body to it. A little bit more hop, a little bit more malt, then probably more of the oak aged, or even age it longer. I don't know how long. I know who's the <laughs> this is, but I don't know how long it was aged for and the quantity of oak chips or whatever it was laid on. Um, again, you know, how much oak do you use to get the flavour through? You can overdo it. It just tastes like sucking on a piece of wood. It hasn't done that, fortunately. It is nice, it is just a little back taste, <coughs> which I think suits this as a lighter style of beer that it's coming through as. Although I think the whole oak age thing suits better, something, you know, a bit more punchier. But a beer as a beer, judging it on its own merit, it's lovely and clear. As you can see it's maintained a little cap, plenty of protein there, you can see it's on the side of the glass. Just a little bit of fruit note from the Simcoe, again not much bitterness. And then there's just that little fruit flavour from the hop and then a very sort of musty oak flavour coming through with a slight smokiness to it and that really is it I mean it's not there's no off flavours it's not astringently bitter I quite like it it's light and refreshing <clears throat> but I think just for the sake of calling it an oak aged beer it would have been possibly better you know on a a good old fashioned strong ale but for having a go at it and doing it it's worked <clears throat> so I can't fault it for that you know it comes out uh, to obviously it's not what is it? but it is brewed to the BJCP style of an, a wood aged beer but um, obviously that is fairly open to regards to what you age and what you do. <clears throat> so it's really down to personal preference, I suppose. But so you know, typically you'd expect an aged bit be something a little bit higher and more punchier and maltier. But yeah, it's not a bad all rounder really. If you took away the fact that so. If you took away that sort of oaked age thing from it, I mean, if you didn't tell people, they wouldn't necessarily know. But you can just get a little bit of um, bit of that on the back now. But that's it. Cheers for that. Catch you again on the next one.